I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson, bringing you health updates that you can hopefully use. Today is Monday, August 25th, 2025. Now, you probably heard about the man who returned from traveling to El Salvador with a flesh-eating parasite called the New World Screwworm. Don't panic, folks. This is not a new pathogen. See, the screwworm outbreak began in Central America two years ago in 2023. Countries that are affected include Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, and Mexico. Screwworms can infest livestock, pets, wildlife, and rarely people. The United States actually eliminated screwworm decades ago, and public health officials say the overall risk here remains very low, but it's a reminder that global travel can bring all types of infectious pathogens close to home. So what exactly is the screwworm? It's a parasitic fly that lays eggs in open wounds. The larvae hatch and feed on living flesh, not dead tissue like most maggots. This condition is called myiasis. Myiasis is the medical term for infestation of maggots, which we know are fly larvae. Now, screwworms mostly affect livestock, but humans can be infected, especially if they have an open wound. See, flies are drawn to cuts, surgical sites, or even the nose, mouth, or eyes. Now, symptoms include painful sores that don't heal, bleeding or foul odors from the sores, the sensation of larvae moving underneath the skin, and there can be maggots around or in an open wound around the nose, the eyes, or the mouth. It does sound pretty gross, doesn't it? So how do you protect yourself? Well, according to the CDC, prevention is key. You gotta keep your wounds clean when covered, when traveling, use insect repellent, spray your clothes, wear protective clothing, sleep indoors or in screened uh, areas, and if you notice unusual non-healing wounds or maggots on your skin ugh, after travel, please see a healthcare provider immediately. That's my message, folks. I know it's kind of gross. But anyway, when you hear all the uh, news about the screw worms, you'll be more informed. No need to panic. Take care and always be well.